founding fathers of hip hop are coming back to the birthplace of their hits with a new mission in mind. News to the Bronx reporter Amanda Bossard explains. These beats born in the Bronx back in the 70s. This whole borough was vibing with an energy. But those vibes haven't been scratched <laughs> into an institution of their own. Hip hop has been around for over 40 years, and it's the only music genre that doesn't have a place to protect and preserve its legacy. We're actually, you know, on a mission to document our history, our legacies. The founding fathers of the genre are working on their ultimate record, turning the old Bronx courthouse into the Universal Hip Hop Museum. It's important for it to be here because this is this is where it came from. Man. Right. I, we lived in New Jersey and we got it word of mouth. Right. But it, it, it started. Place. It started here. Yeah. Right. This is the birthplace. Right. This is where it's at. And the mission to build a museum still in its early stages. These original MCs are collaborating with the next generation of creatives. You're going to find quite a few who will participate on the red carpet, but not many want to come and lay the carpet. And I happen to be a hip hop carpet layer. So that's what I'm here for. I'm here to lay the carpet. To come up with an overall design so they can go to investors and raise the tens of millions of dollars they need to transform this abandoned building into a space where hit makers are immortalized. Success, real success is to make history. And to have it showcased in the borough it was born in. I've been practicing it for many years. Yes. At the Old Bronx Courthouse, go, go, go. Amanda Bossard, News 12, The Bronx.